Fourth generation programming languages. Yet another death by PowerPoint presentation. Aren't they fun? So a fourth generation programming language is a high level programming language which is significantly closer to human language. It's easily accessible by comparison to uh, coders compared to first and second and third generation languages. Typically, 4GLs process larger volumes of information than previous generations of languages. Uh, a lot of 4GLs are database driven. It's a nice way of saying that. Um, more programmer friendly. In other words, uh, usually because you're using closer to English phrases and structures, you don't have to memorize a whole new language. 4GLs consist of mostly English-like phrases and words. Uh, many 4GLs center around mathematics, large database management and report generation. Examples of fourth generation languages can include SQL as a database delivery and query language uh, and PHP. Okay, so fourth generation languages typically consist of English words and phrases. For an example, uh, a sample command would be find all records where name equals Smith. So that's, that's an SQL structure. The main domains and families of 4GLs include database queries, report generators, data manipulation, analysis and report, screen, paint, uh, screen painters and generators, GUI creators, mathematical optimization, and web development. Types of 4GL. Consider things that are almost closest programmers, report generators and programming languages, form generators, uh, self-generated systems, data management systems. Uh, 4GLs have integrated tools which allow for easy specification to all sorts of information. And part of the history we'll talk about uh, is the development of the versioning control and how Oracle's development has built into that. So a bit of history, 1982 was referred to as a non-procedural high-level specification language. A lot of words there including um, a system called Mapper, which it was an early 4GL. Uh, it used punch cards early on, but has since moved on from there. And this is an example of black box programming, black box processing. You give it an instruction, it works out how to do it and does it all by itself, which is rather cool. Okay, so 4GLs developed out of the fact that people saw 3GLs as being slow and error prone because as you see here on the on the code to the right, which looks like C code, um, there's a lot of expectation that you will know exactly what is being coded and how it's being coded. Um, it was hard to understand. Uh, 3GLs were hard for people to understand if they had no training. 4GL was added in, uh, in the aid of making faster and error-free app development with any luck. And fourth generation programming languages are used quite commonly in this day and age. Uh, every time you punch a query into Google, your, the Google script running behind it is a fourth generation language. And that explains also why it's a black box. You put the script code in and magic happens behind the scenes and then comes back to you in the form of a response. Thank you very much.